Hello, and in this video, we're going to be using Onshape to create ISO number 7. Uh, to do this, first we'll create the box, and then we're going to use a new tool called a loft to create this cutout since the uh, pieces aren't the same size on both sides. If we look at this triangle in the front, it's much bigger than that triangle on the back. Uh, so first, the box will count out is 10 across, and it looks to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tall. Uh, so we come over to uh, Onshape, we create a document, we name it ISO 7, and when it loads, we create that box. Uh, so again, just a sketch, I'm going to put it on the front, change to my front view, and create that box. So I start in that bottom corner, I click, I said 10 across, enter, 5 up, enter, and hit a green check. We'll hit that corner of the view box and we'll extrude it. If we go back and count, it should be a distance of four. One, two, three, four. Uh, so we change our distance to four and hit enter and click in the box. And that gives us a cube to begin with. Uh, then we're going to have to create two different sketches. If we look, there's two different size triangles. So we're going to create two sketches and then do what's called a lock between those two. Uh, so I'm going to start on the front just because it's closer to us. We can see it's one in from this, each side and one in from the bottom for this triangle. Uh, so to do that, I'm just going to start a sketch. I'm going to click on my front. I'm going to change to my front view. I'll uh, center it just to make it easy for us to see. And I'm going to use a line tool. Uh, first, I'm just going to roughly sketch a triangle. I'm going to make sure it starts on that line. I'm going to put it somewhere close to the middle on the bottom. And then I'm going to come back up to that line. And then I'm going to close it out. I know that distance is going to be, if I have one on each side, and it's a total of 10. 10 minus 1 minus 1 gives me a total of 8. So I'm going to hit 8 and enter. Uh, then I have to dimension it to place in the right location. So I know from any one edge, I'm going to go from that corner to the edge is going to be a distance of one and hit enter. I don't have to do the other side since it's got to be one that's a driven dimension. Uh, same thing from the bottom. I know from the bottom up to that point is going to be a distance of one. So I can type that in as one as well. Uh, then I have to make sure these lines are equal distance. So I'm going to change uh, where it says coincident. I'm going to change that to equal. And I'm going to click on each of those blue lines. And you can see that then changes it to black. Means that uh, sketch is fully constrained. Uh, so I can finish that sketch by hitting my green check. Uh, then I want to go to the back and do this triangle on the back. So if we look... It's going to be 1, 2, 3 in from either side, and it's going to be 1, 2 down from the top, or 3 up from the bottom. Either way, I could mention it either way. Uh, so let's get started on that one. So again, I'm going to change my view. I want to sketch it on the back, so I'm going to change it to the back view. I hit sketch. I click on that back, and I'm going to zoom out just so we can see a little better. And I'm going to select the line tool. Again, I'm just going to roughly draw my triangle. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go up. Make sure those are both on the line. And then when I go across, I'm going to click. And we know it's 3 on each side. So 10 minus 3 minus 3 gives us a total of 4 remaining. So I hit 4 and enter. Uh, you can see it's clearly not centered. Uh, but that will be fixed when we do our dimensioning. So then we dimension. Hit that dimension tool. Click on the dot and then the outside edge, and I'm going to set that distance to a value of 3 and hit enter. Uh, then I would know from the point that I cut in to the top, or this line on the top, is going to be a distance of 2. So we click and then we type it as a 2. Uh, finally, just like on the front, we want to do the equal. It's already set to the equal tool, so I just have to click on the equal tool and then click my two lines. And that straightens out my triangle. And you can see it's all black, so that means we're fully constrained. So I hit my green check. I'm going to change it back to my front view just so it's easier for us to see. And we're going to do a tool which is called a loft tool. So I have these different features up here I can use. This time I'm looking for a loft. Uh, this loft tool, you can see it's going to be over here with uh, some of the tools we've been using before. So all I have to do is click loft. 
Uh, we know we want to cut it out, so I'm going to change it from Add to Remove. And you can either click on your triangles on your shape, or I like to just click on the two sketches over here. So I hit Sketch 2, and then hit Sketch 3, and it creates that cutout for us. Uh, when we do our green check, you can see it gives us that shape we're looking for. Uh, so hopefully this helps in your creation of ISO number 7. Good luck.